What's up everyone, Michael here with a very quick tutorial about changing the UI scale in Fantasy Star Online to New Genesis. One thing that I found that is pretty annoying about this game by default is that if you are running above 1920 by 1080, the UI scaling will just kind of scale up based off your resolution and just covers a lot of the screen. Now personally, I do not like large UIs and it kind of makes this game look a bit blurry in places because the UI doesn't actually set properly. Um, there is a UI scaling option, however, so we're going to go into the configuration file, talk about what the settings do and change it to make it look cleaner and actually you know make it scale properly now if you're running at 1920 by 1080 you can make the ui look a bit cleaner by changing one of these options we'll talk about that obviously um but if you were not playing above 1920 by 1080 i do not recommend making the ui smaller because the ui is designed for 1920 by 1080. However, if you are running at 2k 4k or anything that is above 1920 by 1080 i highly recommend changing the UI scaling unless you are playing on like a monitor from a far distance or a TV screen or something along those lines. Also, these edits are for the PC edition of the game. I feel like that's worth mentioning here. But hey, let's go ahead and get into it first. Let's go ahead and show off the normal UI. And what I'm talking about is a problem here. So if I go into my items, you can see that it takes up over half of my screen just to view the items. And I'm limited on the number of items that I can view. If you played PSO2 beforehand, you know that the UI can be pretty dang small. And there's a UI scaling option inside the launcher. That launcher option, for some reason, does not affect new Genesis. And the option to actually change the UI setting is not exposed inside the game options at this time. Hopefully Sega fixes that or fixes some sort of other UI scaling issues. We'll talk about that later. And then you go into personal information if i go into like my class information for example and you can see that the text is a bit blurry i don't know if it'll show up on youtube because youtube compresses everything but again it's quite annoying and then going again into the chat options if i go ahead and go into chat and let's say i wanted to put in a thing like i'm very angry from the front you'll see that oh i can't do it because it's not oh yeah it did work okay you can see that it takes up a ton of my screen so if you have a bunch of people chatting around it'll cover up a lot of your screen we're gonna fix that. Sorry for the long preamble. Let's go ahead and exit out and actually go into the configuration file. And we'll just log out of the game because you do have to reboot after these changes in order for them to take effect. If you try to close the game while like while doing these edits, it will just revert the settings because it saves to the settings file when you close the game. All right, and here we are at our desktop. Sorry for the small cut there. We are going to want to navigate to the PSO2 configuration file. So we are first going to open up our file browser, which by default, you can find it on your taskbar down at the bottom, but I already have it open here. If you're on Windows 10, you just go ahead and click on this PC. We're gonna be navigating to documents. We're going to find Sega, and then we are going to find our installation of the game so basically this installation is for the configuration files it's going to store things like your character editing data and um, various different user settings as well as your screenshots your symbol arts and stuff like that so if you've done any of that sort of stuff that's exactly where it's at um, they are going to be different folders based on your installation so the no suffix is going to be the jp version of the game if you're running the steam version it's going to say na steam which is going to be global for windows 10 i believe it says win 10 for egs it says egs ignore the other two because those are just close beta and the character creator I haven't deleted yet. So we're going to go ahead and go into here. Ignore the fact that I got a bunch of presets here. What we are looking for is user.pso2. We are going to go ahead and edit that. You can open it in Notepad++ like I am, or you can open it up in Notepad available in Windows. You may need to open Notepad beforehand before you can open it, but it should just be able to edit directly from it, and you'll be able to read the text. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom it in here so that you guys can see exactly what I am doing. So if I hit hold down control and hit F, we're gonna bring up our find option. This should work in any sort of text editor. If it's not showing up, you can also find it in the top bar of any text editor as well as notepad. And we're going to type in screen just like it was typed in there already and hit enter. It will find screen. Now these screen settings are what affects the UI, why it is called screen, I do not know and not UI, I don't know. Um, but preferred scale, max scale and interface size are all um, the base PSO2 settings. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to change those inside the launcher themselves. However, the other options down here for the other scaling is going to be for new Genesis and the new scaling options. So the first things we wanna change is these two resolutions here. You can see by default, the reference resolution RE, which I don't actually know what RE is supposed to stand for, but reference resolution, pretty self-explanatory. That is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is, we're gonna to wanna to change that to our resolution or whatever resolution you want, as well as the reference resolution down here. I don't know the difference between RE or the space. I change both of them because it's just easier. I noticed that changing this resolution down here however does make the UI look cleaner so if you want a larger scale but you want it to look cleaner you can 
like ring up this resolution and it'll make the UI look less blurry. So even if you're at 1080, this sort of edit can be useful. So I am running at 1920 or not to 1920, sorry, 2560 by 1440, AKA 2K. So I'm gonna go to the X factor 2560 and change the Y factor to 1440. And we'll do the same down here. So 1440 for the Y, oops. Man, I am great at typing guys. And then 2560 for the X resolution. Now, we'll go ahead and save that. I'm just going to hold down Control and S. However, you can also go up to File and Save that way as well. And now, when we go into the game, it'll actually fix the resolution. So let's go ahead and launch PSO2 New Genesis and look at the comparison of what it changed. All right, so now we're in game and you can immediately tell that the UI is heck of small. If you're watching this on a smaller window or a smaller resolution than 2K, uh, it might be a little bit small and I apologize for that, but as we're loading into the game to go and look at the UI, I do want to mention a couple of things. For one, while this is a good thing because it makes it so that you can use a lot more of your screen space, which we'll talk about in a second, and it comes with a lot of benefits and fixes a lot of the UI bugs that can happen on larger monitors, um, it does make the UI smaller and harder to read. So if you are running at a large resolution, but you're far away from the screen, then you are going to want to actually probably not use the setting. You're going to want to change the actual reference resolution and not actually change the scaling resolution. Um, but yeah, so now we're in game. You can see that the UI is a lot smaller, but also for one of these factors, it is also a lot cleaner. And so if we go into the text chat, by the way, so for party chat and I go blah, 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 whatever. And then I use the actual chat thing. You can see, oops, sorry, there we go. You can see that it takes up a lot less of my screen if I end up doing the windows and stuff. And the text is a lot cleaner. If I go into my items, for example, it takes up a lot less of my screen. And I can also use a lot of the screen real estate by expanding the window down here. And I can see a lot more of the items in my inventory, which is super, super useful. And if I go over into the character panel for like the class skills and stuff like that, you can see that instead of taking up half of my screen, it takes up a little bit less than a quarter of my screen. A huge, huge improvement. And honestly, it is a lot better to play this way if you are close up on a monitor. Like I said, if you are far away from your screen, this probably isn't that big of a deal, and I do not recommend making this change if it's gonna make it so that you can't read the UI. However, if you sit very close to the screen like I do at a 2K or higher resolution, I highly recommend making this edit, and it's super, super easy to do. Now, real quick about some of the benefits of this. Um, one thing that I did find out that it did fix is if I go into the settings and I go into the login bonus, for example, um, you can see that behind the window, is actually the reward. Now on the default scaling settings, you can't tell. Now with the scaling setting, it does add a lot of blank space on the outer sides of things. Certain windows do not scale properly, but because we have more screen real estate, we can just move things around and actually, you know, be able to see the rewards that we're looking at in here. So it's like, ooh, five star gems. I, I really want those star gems. I need those star gems. Oh my God, we're getting Trinite? Oh wait, that's the premium login. I don't have premium. Oh, that's sad. Uh, now PSO2 is breaking my heart, but yeah, so it can help with a lot of screen real estate. It makes it so you can actually functionally use the function to where you can actually click and drag any of the UI elements anywhere. It has snapping and stuff like that, but on the base setting, we can't even use it. So hopefully Sega can actually fix this because yeah, we shouldn't have to go into the configuration file. And if you use anything like a third party launcher, kind of like Tweaker, uh, it should automatically do this for you. And so you probably don't have to worry about it, but it should be an option in there as well. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for being a little bit of a drawn out video here. But again, hopefully this helps somebody. I figured this out. I did post this over in our gaming discord called the broken chat box on release day. And so if you want any of these sort of tweaks that I end up finding or important information, um, I'm playing PSO2 a lot recently. And so I'll have a lot of that type of stuff. I'm currently looking into how to fix some of the performance issues and stuff like that. So make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this one. And of course, my other types of videos and stuff like that. Make sure to check them out. And if you have any thoughts or comments or anything to add to this discussion, make sure to leave them down in the comments or head over to our uh, gaming discord called the broken chat box link in the description below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And there is currently an urgent quest and I'm really excited to go do it. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna say goodbye. Uh, uh, bye, bye, I'm, I'm in a hurry, bye. <laughs>